I've always felt that England was virtually uninhabitable during the winter. That's one of the reasons why I've always been so fascinated by the story about the French Riviera. Because the Riviera, as the world's most glamorous and most famous holiday destination, was created by the English as a way of escaping from their own winters. It was, fascinatingly, nothing to do at all with the summer. In 1834, the Riviera was one of the poorest and least developed parts of France, where a peasant population eked out a living by fishing and growing olives. Then, the former British Lord Chancellor, a man called Henry Broom, set off on a journey to Italy to see the remains of the classical civilization. Just after Christmas, an outbreak of cholera prevented him crossing the River Var, just to the east of Nice he had to stay at a tiny fishing village called Cannes. He was so enchanted by what he discovered there, not least how mild was the winter, that he decided to settle there. All fashionable England followed in his footsteps, so much so that by the 1890s the whole cabinet decamped to be close to the Prime Minister and to Queen Victoria. The rest including the quite outrageous idea of staying on the Riviera during the heat of the summer, largely an American idea, is history. This entertainment tells that story, as well as the story of the Riviera's excesses, both in terms of human behavior and architectural vandalism. I only wish I could have used for my book the title of a rather earlier history, When the Riviera Was Ours.